And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Eye. When we last left off, the most horrible of horrors we had to witness. Um, in fact, yeah, had to witness from the perspective of the victim. Because we... Um, yeah, uh, we had to revisit that um, story of Ber Berenice and Aegeus from the perspective of Berenice, which was quite, yeah, quite um, horrifying. Okay. And, yeah, there's also still um, the story of um, Henry and Elise. Well, Elise passed away, um, or at least it seems she has, um, given um, how much the theme of premature burial plays a role in this game and in the work of Edgar Allan Poe, I would not be surprised if Elise would turn out to be not dead after all. Um, so let us check with our brother Henry, who should be still uh, in this room. Yeah. I have determined to place my dear niece in the lower vault. The ground outside is far too marshy this time of year for a proper burial. Please light the way. I think we have to take the lantern, yes, okay. Oh. Yeah, I have a really bad feeling. Um, I really get the feeling that... I made my descent to the cellar. My companions with their dreadful burden just steps behind. We penetrated into the dank basement the lantern pushing back the darkness, what I could see in the black floated before my eyes. My eyes themselves felt as though they had turned to ice and now sat chill and spiked in my heavy skull. Hmm. Yeah, I have a rather bad feeling about this. Yeah, are they still following me? Ah, I, I cannot actually... Um, I cannot physically turn back right now, so... There's only one way to go. And that is deeper... Uh, into this vault of our uncle. Um, These harrowing reflections haunted me until we reached the lower vault. We entered carefully and placed the coffin on two spindly wooden trestles set there for such a purpose. Our labor was without ceremony. Come now. Peace be with her. I can't bear to leave her here. All alone in the dark. Dear brother, do leave the lantern. Leave her a small source of light. We'll go back in the darkness. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? I take that as a sign that you want me to leave, okay. Ambers, seal the vault securely. Leave the key with me. Come, gentlemen. Uh, why would we... Why do you insist that we leave the key with you, I wonder? Also, why... 
Why did they have to nail the coffin? I really don't trust him. Hmm. But there's... Yeah, nothing I can do right now. Since the game won't let me do anything else. Oh. And we once again entered the land of dreams and horrors. Of nightmares, in fact. Uh, I dread what I'm... what I will be inevitably finding here. Oh. And... Oh. Um... Hmm. Can we? Yeah, we can leave. Um, I would suspect that. Uh, this only plays the the dream sequence that we have already seen. Um, well, if that should be the case, then I will just make a cut in the video and. Yeah. death had long devastated the country. No persons had ever been so fatal or so hideous. Yeah, it's the same story, so um, we'll Good. be back in a moment. And we are finally back from that dream sequence that unfortunately I had to witness in com... in com... in totality. Incompleteness, I want to say, I suppose. Anyway, um, so that was not the sequence that uh, we have yet to watch to progress the story. Um, maybe I sort of I did this sequences a bit out of order. Anyway, um, so I think there are two more stories to go. Um, Okay, um, okay there, um, so there was this fish that led to, I think it was the telling heart that this fish led to, okay, um, the other rooms were, uh, and still are not accessible. Um, I don't think that this canvas uh, yet produced uh, a dream sequence and it does not, but at least the painting has changed now. Um, okay. The picture. He does also nothing. Um, hmm. Can we leave? Maybe. No, we can't leave. Okay. Um, and again, maneuvering around this house is a bit is a little bit tricky. Um, let's go upstairs. Um, so that was the room with the piano. I think the room of Berenice hasn't yet been the source of a dream. Okay, I'm a bit surprised that there's really nothing here uh, we can interact with, but maybe in our brother's room there is something. Though it appears 
it does not. Um, well, I, well, I do su suppose, um, I, mean, I do assume that the, this game has a proper ending in the resolution of the story. It's just a matter of finding hmm, the next item we need to click on. Okay, this. Upstairs um, seems to be pretty pointless, as far as I can tell. Um, hmm. Okay, give me a moment and ha I'll have figured out, yeah, uh, what thing we need to click on. Okay, I think I figured out um, what we actually have to click on. So I've checked all the rooms and the only thing that is new is that we can both click on the fish and the knife. Um, suppose that the fish represents the victim so that we have to click on the knife to get the... Yeah. To view the um, story of the telltale heart from the perspective of the perpetrator. True. Nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I had been and am. But why do people say that I am mad? Hmm. This is indeed, um, yeah, as I suspected. Okay, so now we are now playing as the perpetrator in the story The Telte Heart. Um... In case, well, um, yeah, she just said, I don't want this money if I hurt no harm. If you hurt harm. Yeah, and he's done him no harm, apparently. So the the balance of the music, of the sound effects and the voices isn't perfect, unfortunately. Um, I'll try my best not to talk over the voices. Okay. Ah. Hmm. I can't look at the. Can I look at the clock? Yeah. He's done me no harm. Hmm. And the saw. The very same saw that we saw in our uncle's painting, in fact. I'm not sure this was there before. Hmm. Yeah, and that's us. Okay, let's um, try to enter our room. Hmm. Um, these are. I think these. These pictures that are up on this wall are, in fact, the pictures that were behind our uncle's um, painting. His, his, his canvas. Um, I don't think that's the right word, but anyway, okay. You know what I mean. Okay. And there's a photograph of someone. Hmm. Not a photograph, um, a drawing, in fact. A drawing of the old man and his eye.
Yeah, in case you have read, uh, well, in case you haven't read the short story, The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, this probably doesn't um, really tell you much, but if you read the story, then you know that a heart, no, uh, um, this man's eye plays a very important role in the story. How has this idea entered my brain? It haunts me day and night. Hmm. Yeah, a very haunting idea indeed. And a terrible one um, too. An obsession, one could say. Hmm. Okay, I think that's um, that's it for this. Um, I mean, there's nothing more to explore, I guess. Um, we should probably check his room um, to see whether we can... Well, of course, we can't um, enter that because that is his room. So let us meet our future victim. Hmm. He looks, he looks rather strange from that angle. Blah. And his eye is indeed quite repulsive. Um. You look as though you could use some hot soup. Yeah, but he does seem to be a very kind man. And still... Yeah, we've read this story already. Um, let's drop his face. What is it? What is it about him that makes my blood run cold? <gasps> His eye is what it is. You don't want your soup? It's cooling. Mm. Can we get up? Ah, oh, we can leave, in fact. Or can we? Ah, uh, not really, it appears. Okay. It's grown late. Good night, young man. Good night. Now what... I... This is... Um, actually, I feel... Right now, this game makes me feel very bad, in fact. Um, I mean, we've, we've, of course, already played, um, for instance, the story about the thief, um, Berenice. The, the sh we've played the short story Berenice from the perspective of the um, perpetrator, but this time, I think it's much more haunting because we've played the it from the perspective of the victim first. And yeah, so I I know what's about to happen and I I will be the person who is making that happen. And this makes me feel very bad already. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Can't sleep. 
Um, hmm. I don't think that we can enter this room yet because we are need we need a lamp. Ah, okay. So, um, yeah. So in case you haven't heard the story, um, the Telltale Heart, so the point is um, that you shine a single ray of light into the old man's eye. So we have to open this just, um, just a little bit. So it'll make just one, just a single ray. Um, it will shine a single ray into his eyes. Okay, that's not correct, apparently. Or did that? Hmm. Okay, I'm not doing this correctly, apparently. Okay. Hmm. Ah. And we have yet to click on something else. Uh, maybe take a look at the clock. Okay, I don't want to read the paper, please. Um, I want to, to look at the clock. Ah, yeah. Okay, now I think we can enter the room. Um, ah, okay. People fancy me mad. Mad men know nothing but me. I proceed with wisdom, with caution, with foresight. Actually, you do sound rather mad. Ah, uh, oh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay, this, now, now I'm feeling really, really bad. I don't want to kill this old man. It's terrible. <sighs> but, ah, I can... Um... Hmm. So I was supposed we don't kill him? At least not now. Can't turn the lantern. Can't put the lantern back. Um. Oh, we can. Does that automatically? Okay. So we open it just. Hmm. Ah. Okay. I see now what's what's happening. Okay. So we need to, we need to do this. So we said that we want to proceed with caution. So we don't kill him on the first try. Okay, don't look at the clock. Uh, hmm. It's 
Still missing something. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why you are actually able to open the door. Hmm. Okay, this, okay. As much as I like this game, um, sometimes it's sometimes it really does a poor job of communicating to you what's what it expects you to do. Either that, or I'm just stupid. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We are missing something. Well, I miss something. You have probably already figured out the solution. And can't believe that I just don't see it. night. Ah, okay. well actually, now that I, um, well, play this, I actually do recall, um, more of this short story of Edgar Allan Poe. And I do recall that, um, he actually visits the man on several, um, on several nights in succession, so he doesn't kill him just on the first night. So he, pre well, because he, as he said, he proceeds with caution. So we need to do that a few more times, I suppose. Um, Take the lantern. People fancy me mad. Mad men know nothing but me. I proceed with wisdom, with caution, with foresight. Found old man indeed to suspect that every night, just at twelve, I look in on him while he sleeps. Okay, now it's going to happen, I suppose. Ugh. We are going to kill this harmless, in fact, very kind old man that has done nothing to us but somehow by his appearance makes us want to kill him. Stealthily. Stealthily. Ugh. Oh, this is horrible. Ah, <sighs> uh, this is. I'm really feeling physical pain right now. I really don't. I don't want to do this. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, one more to go, I think. Closed. The eye is closed. Uh, thanks God. Uh, oh my God. 
that was terrible. Okay, you know the drill. I open the door. Look at the window. Make another day pass by. Wait. Ugh. Good night. Wait until this man goes to sleep. Wait until it's 12. Okay, now it's already 12 for some reason. And enter his room. Oh, the music has changed. It's not a good sign. Here I am, opening the door little by little, and he doesn't even dream of my secret deeds or thoughts. Hmm, <laughs> you are mad. Oh, God. Did he hear? Well, I would say yes, but I don't think you would listen to me because you are raving mad, but... Uh. Mm. Who's there? Uh. Oh. I know that groan. It's the low sound that rises from the bottom of the soul when charged with mortal terror. Many at midnight, it wails up from my own bosom, deepening with its dreadful echo the terrors that distract me. Yes, I know it well. Oh. Can we actually not kill the old man? Poor old man. <laughs> He's been lying awake ever since that first noise, his fears growing, trying to fancy them causeless, but he cannot, because death, stalking with his black shadow before him, has enveloped the victim. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay, why am... I have to do this, haven't I? Mm. Ugh. Shit, okay. <sighs> okay, I think one more opening of the slide and not yet. He's... <gasps> uh! Shit. What's that? My God. His heartbeat. He must be. Burst! Surely it will burst! Mm. What if... What if a neighbor should hear it? Oh, that's... That's like torture.
please don't tell me you have to, to bury him too. As I will let me please? know. Could you please no. just leave the stream? What shall I do with the body? Oh no. Uh, we have to bury him too. Mm. This. Oh no, the saw. Oh god. Uh. You're going to make soup out of this old man, aren't you? Uh, okay, this is now has been officially the most horrifying scene so far, at least according to me. Uh, I mean, it's one thing whether you're playing a, a first-person shooter where you're just mowing down people, where it doesn't affect you, but here it's really you're killing an innocent old man. That's terrifying. And now I'm going to cut him up with a chain. With a saw. I worked hastily, but in silence. I dismembered the corks. I cut off the head and the arms and the legs. And you made a soup out of him. Can we actually can we actually look at the stove? Uh, I don't think we can actually. Hmm. Uh, okay, we now we have to go back to his room. Yeah, we have to. Uh. Hmm. Okay, at least. They don't show us the body, which doesn't really make it much more, well it does make it actually less ho horrifying, but still. Yeah, we don't want this money. Uh. Ugh. Well, I don't, I don't think that a human body would fit in these small bags, but... Uh, we actually need to dispose them. Uh, did you actually drop the... We drop the 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 bag. Okay. So I suppose that uh, stuff it in the wall. Okay. How many left hands do we have actually? Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. obviously failed to uh, ah, okay, yeah, of course. Hmm. And we put the rest of his body in there too. That must give an awful stench. There, all deposited neatly between the scatlings. Mm. Replaced so cunningly. No human eye, not even his, could detect anything wrong. Nothing to wash out, 
no blood spot whatever. All has been caught in a tub. <laughs> Someone at the door. Yeah, and by the way, you're raving mad, in case you haven't yet noticed. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but somebody or other heard a scream or some such called us up. We've got to check these things out. What are you doing awake at this hour? That'll do, Finley. Hmm. I was actually generally scared by that jump scare, um, I must admit. Do come in, please, do. Yeah, and if you've read the, sh the story... Well, what about the scream, Sarge? Oh, <laughs> the scream, sir. What do you know about anything like that? Yeah, if if you've read the short story, then you'll know. Um. Oh, that was I, Sergeant. I called out in a nightmare. I'm given to nervous fits. A gentle man like yourself? Well, what about the old man that lives here? Finley! Gone to the country. Lucky man. Yeah, you know what's about to happen. Um... Of course, we're going to show him his room. Might we be looking about a bit? Of course, certainly, search. Yeah, these policemen look... I mean, their posture looks rather strange. Check um, over there the stove as well yes sir sir never mind that stay off of there hmm. yeah we actually um Yeah, uh, show them... You'll want especially to look into the old man's room. Yes, look particularly here. In here, boys. Watch it. Sorry. Sit, sit, all of you. Do. Don't mind if I do. Of course, they don't suspect me. My manner has assuaged them. Indeed, they are delightful fellows. It's been a long day. You are quite mad, you realize that. He sits on the very spot. This is the hour of my Perfect triumph. He keeps his treasure in that drawer there. Hmm. How would you actually know that unless you invite his privacy and creep around his room? That's already already quite suspicious. Oh, it's a lovely night, though. The stars are out in all their glory. Hasn't been disturbed, sir. Well, everything seems to be in order. Don't go. No, stay. Stay a moment. Rest yourselves from your various fatigues. Oh, my head, and what is that annoying ringing in my ears? Hmm. Will they never be gone, and that ringing? But wait, 
It's not in my ears, it's... Oh my God! Can't they hear it? No. I'm safe. If only they'll leave. They must hear it. They must. And still. How is it they don't hear it? Could it be your own heart, perhaps? A bad conscience? Admit it. I confess. Tear up the planks. Here. Here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. Who? Ah, and we are back, finally, after that very, um, quite horrifying dream, um, when we come back, folks, I think that we will enter the last dream and will we'll resolve, we'll, we'll resolve the story between the story of Henry and Elise, um, and I'm really anxious, yeah, what we'll find out. So until next time, folks, until um, then. <laughs>